Good morning. It's Tuesday, January 10th, 2023. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled Worship Smiles, and our scripture is Psalm 89. Happy are those who hear the joyful call to worship, for they will walk in the light of your presence, Lord. They rejoice all day long in your wonderful reputation. They exult in your righteousness. You are their glorious strength. It pleases you to make us strong. Yes, our protection comes from the Lord, and he, the Holy One of Israel, has given us our King. Well, there it is. The psalmist said it out loud. Worship makes you happy. Uh, from reports of church experts, quote unquote, across the spectrum, it would not seem so. Weekly attendance is abysmal compared to previous generations, along with offerings and volunteerism. The word on the street is that the church is done. The reasons given for such an appraisal are legion. Clergy misconduct causing distrust of denominational leadership, as well as culture clash where the church diverges from the demands of societal change. The overwhelming shift of accepted sexual expression in the last 50 to 60 years has constructed a portrait of the church as out of touch, antiquated, old fogey. As an institution, the church is perceived as the dead end of rules with sour dispositions. To listen to all of that, we, church folks, are not fun at all. My experience is somewhat different. Even with health challenges that make it difficult for me to get up in the morning and get moving, I find myself anxious to be at our church's worship times. We have the same complexity as most other groups do in navigating the problems of aging, financial shortfall, COVID issues, and more. However, week after week, I am in the presence of smiling, grateful, and, well, downright happy people. So, which is truth? The report on the street of the church's death or the opposing experience of joyful worship? I think it's both. On the street report, you would have to give credence to the death certificates of many churches. Year after year, as I gather with other church leaders in our annual meetings, there are closings finalized for local congregations that have dwindled to unsustainable levels. In the North Carolina Conference, nearly one-third, representing 22% of membership of their churches, have recently disaffiliated with the UMC over the homosexuality issue. On the positive side of the ledger, this represents a healthy desire for defined biblical faith, as opposed to caving into the demands of cultural opinion. This is consistent with the swimming upstream historical track record of Christ's cosmic church seeking to be his body rather than an offshoot organizational arm of culture's selfish whims and fancies. It's what drove the Apostle Paul to preach to Gentiles, defying the overwhelming disapproval of the early, mostly Jewish, church elders. It's what drove Martin Luther to separate from the Roman church. Through all the church disputes, clergy failure, cultural revolution, wars, famines, plagues, and oppression, the gates of hell still do not prevail. Christ's church is a forever promise of the Holy Lord, God of Heaven's hosts. For you today, if you should encounter a negative attitude in your journey today, and what are the odds of that these days, as the old hymn has it, Be not dismayed, whate'er betide, God will take care of you. You don't have to so much keep the faith as trust that the faith will keep you. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.